good morning. Good morning, everyone. So glad to be with you on this Tuesday morning. I pray that all is well with you. I hope that you had a great, restful, peaceful sleep last night. Um, this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. We do have a word for you from the Lord. Today, we're going to be coming out of the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 11 through 13. Luke chapter 11, verses 11 through 13. And we're talking about the giver of the Holy Spirit. The giver of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to read this to you. It says, as we finish this devotional, I want to end on this scripture. I think it's such a beautiful picture of the Father's heart for us as his children. He's a good father who loves to give good gifts specifically and, and especially um, to those who honor him. He loves to give us the greatest gift of all, which is the Holy Spirit. That's the greatest gift. The Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us. If you struggle to understand the Holy Spirit, if you've never received or been filled with the Holy Spirit, or if you're needing a fresh and feeling of God's Spirit, then right now, as you're reading this, I'd love to stop and ask the Father to give you this wonderful gift, a gift He delights to give us, the Holy Spirit. As you ask, I'd encourage you to then, in faith, to say thank you to the Lord, to be grateful to Him for what He's done. Just as if someone had given you a present or if it was Thanksgiving or Christmas, you know, in a language of faith and helps to seal in our hearts the things which we've asked for. Praise the Lord. What's next in this journey with the Holy Spirit is, okay, we can ask ourselves as we go about our day today, we can come in spiritual alignment with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that's within us. We can connect with the Spirit man that dwells on the inside of us. Okay, to allow ourselves to do the things that we normally would not be able to do or we normally wouldn't have the wisdom to do. You know, the Holy Spirit is wisdom. He is the triumph being. He's everything. God the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, all in one. And we have that advantage. We have that authority. We have that power now on the inside of us as believers in the Lord, as followers of Christ. I want to encourage you today to be in tune to the Holy Spirit, to listen, to be attentive, to hear, and to be watchful because God is always speaking. And the Holy Spirit wants to speak to you today. The Holy Spirit wants to teach you something today. And as you yield yourself to his will, as you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, I want you to listen, to be in tune, and to hear what he is having to say to you. Because like I said, God is always speaking to us. But are we listening? That's the thing. I encourage you today to be in tune and listen to the voice of the Lord as he speaks to you through the precious gift, the giver of the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of you and on the inside of me. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for all those that are watching, all those that are listening this morning. I pray, Lord God, that they will be in tune to the giver, the greatest gift that you could ever give us, the gift of the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us, that gives us dunamis power. Lord God, I pray that they will align themselves to your word so they can hear what you have to say to them today. So they can go in the right path, in the right direction. Lord God, I pray right now, Lord God, that you are making every crooked way straight. I pray, Lord God, for blessings upon blessings, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, Father God, that you will give us, Lord God, our portion today. We thank you for good health. We thank you, Lord God, for prosperity. 
We thank you for peace of mind. God, we thank you for aligning our steps perfectly, Lord God. We thank you, O oh God, for protecting us from all hurt, harm, danger, seen and unseen. Thank you for protecting us from every scheme and wicked plot of the enemy. The devil is a liar. Father God, we believe your word to be true in our life. And what you called us to be is what we shall be. We decree and declare that we are your handiwork, created for good works. And that is what we will do. We will walk in it. We will become it, oh God. We will look like it, Lord God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are giving us, Lord God, everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that you continue to fill us up until we overflow, until our cup overflows, Lord God, and touches the lives of everyone we come in contact with, O oh Lord. We give your name glory. We give your name praise. We give your name honor because we know, Lord God, that with you we can do it all. It's possible with you. It is possible. All things are possible in and through you and through your Holy Spirit, O oh God. The Comforter, Lord God, that you have left us with, Lord God, to give us the authority. We now have the advantage, O oh God. And so we use that advantage, Lord God. We use it, Lord God, wisely, Father God, to walk out everything that you've called us to be and more, O oh Lord, in the precious name of Jesus. Now, Lord, I pray for everyone listening everyone watching the replay, Lord God, who will watch the replay, Father. I pray, Lord God, that you will touch their lives and that their lives will be changed forever for the better. For the better, oh God. I pray that the struggle is over, Lord God, that the things that they didn't understand, they couldn't figure out, will be revealed, Lord God. I pray that the struggle will be over. I pray that the drought will be over. And that, Lord God, new doors are beginning to open in their lives, Father. I thank you for opening doors that no man can shut and shutting doors no man can open, oh God. I give your name praise this morning. We glorify you, Lord God, because of who you are. Because of who you are and what you've already done in our lives. And what you're going to do in our future. Our future looks bright in you. We can trust confidently in your word. When the word of men fail, your word will always prevail, O oh God. Your word will always reign true in our lives. So we give your name the glory. We honor you in all things, Father. And it's in the mighty, majestic, all-knowing name of Jesus. Now, O oh God, we thank you for healing in our bodies from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet. We are the healed, protecting our healing. Every organ in our body operates in the way that you originally created it to operate, like a well-oiled machine. God, we glorify you today for strength, for health, for longevity, for wisdom, for peace, and for most of all, for ordering our steps. Our day has already been planned. And so, Lord God, we trust you in it in every moment every aspect of it, Lord God. We will trust in your word and we will stand on your word firmly in the name of Jesus. Now unto him who's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ever ask or think according to the power that works in us. Be all majesty, be all glory, be all dominion, be all power, both now, henceforth, and forever, in the mighty name of Jesus, and all that agreed, say amen, amen, and amen. Well, thank you guys for joining me this morning. I pray that something said uh, touched your heart. I pray that something said will get you in tune to the Holy Spirit. Because God always speaking to us. But our 
are we listening to him? Listen and pay attention because God wants to tell you something. He wants to do something good for you today. He wants to do something that you've never had done before. But you got to listen and you got to be obedient and you have to follow when he says do it. Okay? When the Lord says jump, you jump. All right? When he says go, you go. When he says stay, you stay. Listen and be in tune to the Holy Spirit because he wants to speak to you today. I pray that you have a beautiful day and that the Lord today is going to be another beautiful day outside. So get outside, enjoy yourselves today, and be in tune to what the Lord has to say to you because he's speaking. Today is your day for receiving. Receive from the Word. Receive from the Lord today. Have a beautiful day, everyone.